Hi friends, welcome back to Garfin's Creation. Today, let's make chicken mince potato chops. I'll be using chicken mince. You can replace the chicken mince with beef or even mutton mince too. You'll find the detailed recipe in the description box below. So let's start making the potato chops. First, we'll begin by making the chicken mince filling. I've just heated a pan and be adding 2 tablespoons of oil. And once the oil is hot, I'll be adding 2 chopped onions. These are 2 medium sized finely chopped onions. I will just fry these onions for about 2 minutes till they are a little bit soft. Since I'm using a steel vessel to cook this, I have kept the flame on medium. You can cook this on medium to high flame. And once the onions are a little bit soft, I'll be adding 1 inch of ginger that is finely chopped. Along with that, I'll be adding 3 green chilies and 8 cloves of garlic too. All of it has been finely chopped. And I'll just cook this for around 2 minutes. I'll just fry these till the rawness of the garlic and the ginger is gone. Keep stirring in between so that it does not get burned. Next, we'll be adding some spices. This is half a teaspoon of jeera or cumin powder, half a teaspoon of haldi powder and 3-4 teaspoon of garam masala powder. For more spiciness, you can increase the amount of chilli and the garam masala powder too. I'll just give this a quick stir and then we'll be adding the chicken mince into it. And now once the spices are well mixed with the onions and ginger garlic, we will be adding the chicken. I'll be using quarter kg of chicken mince. We can also make beef or mutton mince potato chops too. Replace the chicken mince with that and then you need to cook that for a little longer. Now after adding the chicken mince, I'll just mix it well and cover it and let it cook for 3 minutes on medium flame. I have not added any water into this. After 3 minutes of cooking, the chicken is half done. So I'll now be adding salt into it. Adjust the salt according to your taste. I'll also be adding a pinch of sugar. I've also taken 1 teaspoon of kasuri methi. Just crush it with your hands and add it to the chicken mince. Give it a good mix. And now we will just cook this further for another 3 to 4 minutes till the chicken is fully cooked. You need to keep the chicken filling dry. So do not add any water while cooking this. So now our chicken mince is completely cooked and you can see it's quite dry. This is how we need it. Now I'll just be adding juice of half a lemon. The lemon juice is going to add nice tanginess to the chicken mince filling. Along with that I'll also be adding 2 tablespoons of coriander and mint leaves which are finely chopped. Just give it a stir and our chicken mince filling is ready. So besides making potato chops, you can just have the chicken mince along with some chapati or bread too. As the chicken mince is getting cold, let's make the potato outer covering for the potato chops. For that, I have taken 5 large potatoes. This is around 600 grams. I have boiled it and grated it too. Now into the potatoes, I'll be adding half a teaspoon salt, 2 tablespoons finely chopped coriander leaves, juice of half a lemon. These all are going to make the outer covering of the potato chops too really very tasty. So give it a good mix. You can also use your hands and smash it and get it together. So the grated potato is well mixed with the other ingredients. For the coating too, we need an egg and I added a pinch of salt in it and just whisk it. We need to roll the potato chops in the egg also before we could roll it into some bread crumbs. So I have also taken one cup of bread crumbs. As we got everything ready, let's start making the potato chops. I'll be just greasing my hand with little oil so that the potato does not stick to your hands. I'll just take a portion of the potato mix which we had prepared. You can make large or small ones too. So accordingly you can take how much you wish to. I've taken a ball size and I'll roll it round till it gets nice and smooth. 
Once you've got a nice ball, just make a little dent inside it. It's like a small hole so that we can put the chicken mince filling inside it. You can add around 2 to 3 teaspoons of the chicken mince filling inside it. Just press it lightly. Do not overfill it too, otherwise the potato chops might break. Now once I have added the chicken filling, I'll just use the sides of the potato and get it towards the center and seal it well. Only make sure that the filling does not come out of the potato and then just roll it once more to make it smooth enough. Once you've got a nice round ball, we will just dip this into the egg. Coat it well with the egg so that the breadcrumbs stick well to it. Now we'll roll it into the breadcrumbs. Now just coat the potato chops well with the breadcrumbs. This will make the potato chops nice and crispy once they are fried. I'm just pressing it a bit so that the breadcrumbs stick to it. And just flatten it a little. And then now you can shape it with your hands too. Or use a chopping board and you can roll it on that and get the desired shape. So now this is done and our first potato chop is ready. Before we could make the next one, we'll just grease your hands once more. Showing you a second way of making the potato chops too. Now once again I've taken enough potato mix and rolling it round. And once the ball is formed, I'll be just simply flattening this. And then I'll be putting the chicken filling into it. So you can prepare the potato chops either way. The one which I had showed before by making a ball and then making a hole and then putting the filling or just simply flattening it and adding the filling into it and then gathering the sides and getting it into the center just like as we make paratas too. And if you feel that it is not closing well, you can add more of the potato on top and seal it well. The first method which I had shown is much more easier as compared to this one. You can do whichever method you are more comfortable in. The rest of the steps would be the same. Just roll it into the egg and then into the breadcrumbs and shape it. Once the potato chops are all coated with the breadcrumbs, you can also keep them in the freezer and fry them later whenever you want them. Potato chops are made differently by different people. And I hope you like my this recipe of making this potato chops where I've also added some flavor to the outer coating of the potatoes. So you get a truly delightful experience of these potato chops. These are all ready and let's fry them now. To fry these potato chops, I just heated a pan and added around 2 to 3 tablespoons of oil in it. And once the oil is hot, just add the potato chops a few at a time and fry them on medium flame. Frying the potato chops will hardly take any time. So till you get a nice golden brown on either side, you need to flip it and fry it on both sides. You can fry them for about a minute or two on each side and then flip it till you get a nice golden brown. I do have a video on how to make potato chops using she shells. That is already available on my channel and I'll put the link at the end of this video so you can make that as well when seashells are available in the market. These potato chops are well cooked, so just get it out of the pan and continue frying the rest of it in the same way. You will find the detailed recipe in the description box below. And I hope you are going to try this recipe soon. Do leave your comments below as how you enjoy your potato chops with. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon in the next video too. Till then, take care. Bye bye.